Um, so we'll go ahead with the presentation and Ikshal will start and then uh, I'll come back in a moment. Okay, so I just wanted to say good afternoon to everyone. Uh, thank you for taking time out of your schedule to join us for our scholarship information session. Um, my name is Iksha Pai, and I'm an admissions manager at Blythe Academy, and I'm, and I'm joined with uh, my colleague here, Catherine Zabo, who's also a fellow admissions manager with me. Uh, today, we will be going over the scholarship application process, um, and the presentation will be in two parts. I'll take care of the first half of the presentation, which kind of goes over um, a brief history of Blythe Academy and our, um, our, our teaching styles and our and our way of learning. And this is specifically more for prospective families, but then Catherine will be covering the second half of the presentation, which involves the actual application process um, in, in more detail. And um, and um, we will have a period at the end for any questions that anyone has. So definitely there will be time to answer everybody's questions. So just to start us off, um, just a bit of overview again for our prospective families or anyone who is interested in learning about Blythe. Um, we were started by Sam Blythe, who gave us our name, obviously Blythe Academy. Uh, and Sam had, has always had an interest in, ex in experiential and flexible learning. Now, Blythe did start off with travel programs in the 70s, I believe, but our first local academy opened in 2002 in the heart of Toronto. By nine, uh, sorry, by 2018, Blythe Academy joined Globe Educate, which is one of the world's leaders in private school education and has more than 50 schools in over nine countries. And we emphasize nimble and personalized education. Our focus at Blythe is building well-rounded students. Blythe Academy's mission is to create personalized learning experiences that inspire our students to take charge of their academic careers. And we also understand that success looks a little different for every student, but Blythe Academy students do graduate with the tools in place for a seamless transition into successful post-secondary academic careers and new ideas that shape the world. Um, as you can see on the screen here, uh, th uh, these are some of the photos of some of our campuses. We do have seven in-person campuses uh, uh, across Ontario, and we have two full-time online programs, Blythe Academy Orbit, which is our live scheduled learning, and Blythe Academy Online, which is our asynchronous self-paced learning. Each of our campuses has its own personality. Two of our schools are sport, sports focused, which is uh, uh, Blythe Academy Burlington and Blythe Academy Downs U Park. But each of our campuses has the same structure in the sense that we have small class sizes. We follow a four quad or term structure and we have a lot of communication that we have between our campus teams and our campus teams and speaking to teachers and students and parents as well. Now, if there is a particular campus that you are interested in learning more about, definitely do let Catherine and I know. You can let us know in the, um, in the Q&A session later on, or you can definitely send us an email or give us a call. We'll have our contact information at the end, um, and then we can help set up a consultation. Our campuses are all, uh, also do have um, campus tours as well. So a lot of families come in for a consultation and see the campus at the same time, so they can kind of do, do both that once. And as well, we are still accepting applications for our upcoming school year uh, starting in September. And we have four starts, as mentioned, for September, November, February, and April, as long as space allows. And it also depends on what grade you're looking for as well. So definitely do let us know. Um, and like I'd mentioned big, at earlier, we do uh, have the one of the largest online high schools in Canada with 30,000 students across our two online programs. However, as this is the scholarship presentation, I did want to make a special note that for our online students, it is of um, full time Blythe Academy Orbit students, uh, which is our live uh, virtual learning, those students are the ones who are eligible for scholarships. We don't currently have scholarships for our asynchronous Blythe Academy online program. So I just thought I'd make a note of that for everyone. Okay. At Blythe Academy, our classes range from six to 18 students. 
sorry, six to 16 students, ensuring your students get the support that they need. We hire the best and we hire every year. And in that way, we have more freedom than public boards do. Our teachers care a lot about what they do and they love being in the classroom. They're very committed to keeping open lines of communication with parents as well. And they do this primarily by leveraging our online learning and reporting platform, which is called EdSpeak. And that keeps uh, parents up to date on activities that are happening in the classroom, their child's performance, any upcoming assignments or quizzes that their child has for their respective classes in a given term, um, any success or challenges that they're having. So you really do get a good sense of how well your your child is progressing in their studies and how you know they're doing both um, in academically but also emotionally as well and what sets Blythe Academy apart from the academic delivery at other schools both public and private is our dedication to tailoring the learning needs for each and every one of our students with truly small classroom sizes like I'd mentioned earlier teachers then do have more one-on-one -on -one time to give every student you know the uh, particular help that they need you know for a certain unit depending on what they're learning about we also are a big believer in experiential learning and that really helps bring the curriculum to life and it keeps in students really engaged in the and the concepts that they learn in class this type of lesson provides real world examples with students actively applying the concepts that they are that they are learning our teachers take advantage of the surrounding school community depending on where their campus is located um, and this could mean that the art class goes to a local paint studio or an example of our business class visit visiting a local store to see entrepreneurship in, in action, or even sometimes the food and nutrition class going to a local restaurant um, to help cook recipes and healthy recipes. Also, as you can see on our screen here, Blythe Academy courses are recognized by universities across, Ontar uh, across Ontario, Canada, the US and internationally. Uh, some of the examples, as you can see on our screen, are, are of uh, where our students have gone for their post-secondary uh, education. We are extremely proud of the success our students have achieved. 90% of our students receive first choice university acceptance and 85 of them 85% of them do receive full or partial entrance scholarships. In addition, the majority of our students demonstrate an improvement in their attitude towards learning and their marks have reflected this academic growth. Uh, credits earned at Blythe Academy are universally accepted and highly respected and our students have gone on to attend top universities in the fields of their choice. Blythe Academy has an average of one guidance counselor for every 80 students. This is a little different, uh, especially in comparison to other schools and other institutions that have, you know, 200 to 400 students for one guidance counselor. Uh, because of our smaller school sizes, uh, this really allows our guidance counselors to provide that one on one support and that individual attention and relate to our students on a much more personal basis. And we definitely believe in having an open door policy as well. And that really provides ongoing support and advice throughout the, the school experience. Our students consistently demonstrate higher than average success in post-secondary education, in part because of our unique programs and outstanding faculty. Guidance counselors at each of our campuses provide individual students with support and the advice that they need when it comes to applying for universities and uh, putting forth their best applications. Now, Speaking of applications, uh, this does begin the um, scholarship applications part of our uh, presentation. So every year we do um, have families that do inquire about scholarships and we definitely do offer. The, now the application deadlines do vary year to year. For this particular year, we had our first round, the application deadline was February 28th. And our second round that we opened, I believe last week, so quite recently, that application deadline, as you can see on the screen, will be on July 8th. Um, so I would say, uh, just to make sure that you are you're aware of our deadlines, I would say the best thing to do is to for the especially if you're looking for um, 
scholarships for the next year um, is to definitely check our website. I believe under the study in person tab, there is a, a page that is specifically for our scholarship that just provides more details. And that's where you'll also find the scholarship application as well. We usually update our scholarship application in December or January for the upcoming year. And yes, we definitely do offer equity scholarship, which is our form or our version of bursaries for families who are experiencing financial need. But um, there will be more information about equity scholarships in particular and what kind of documentation is needed for those applications. And now I will hand it over to Catherine to take it over for the second half of the presentation. Thank you so much, Iksha. Um, before I get started with my part of the presentation, I just wanted to properly introduce myself. Um, I have been at Blythe Academy for about two and a half years now, but I have a lot of experience as well with education. Uh, my daughter is in second year at U of T now, and she uh, came out of the private school system. And my son just got accepted to U of T, and he also came out of the private school system. I started both my students in the public school systems originally, and for different reasons, uh, my daughter uh, got very bored in school and needed more challenge, and then my son had some learning disabilities. So I think between the two of them, I have dealt with four different private schools. So I'm very familiar uh, with the private school experience. Um, but now I'll just get back to uh, what we're all here for with scholarships. So the most common question that I am asked about equity scholarships is what happens if you're not offered enough? If that happens, we will refund your deposit. This is only for equity families who are going for the equity scholarships. And it's solely at your own discretion. You can withdraw after the award is made. For families who are applying on an equity basis, please keep in mind that our largest scholarships cover slightly more than 50% of our fees. And those scholarships are reserved for the very best students academically, who also usually have stunning extracurricular and leadership skills. For families who are considering applying to private school on the basis of a scholarship, please note we do not have a uniform. So sometimes that can help save a little bit of money, um, but we do have book fees and that can cost up to $500. And I'm just going to move on to the next slide here. Regarding our criteria, we do not have a set number of scholarships um, for each category. So no category is easier than another. So simply choose the category that you or your student can shine best in. The categories are solely there to allow the student to pick something um, that can showcase their skills. So we want to value community involvement, of course, academic impact, athletic impact, and then artistic impact. Now, um, what we want to see at Blythe Academy is always academic merit. All scholarships are judged on this, not just candidates who choose that criteria. This is why all applicants must send in their report cards or their transcript. Also, please note, even if you are a current Blythe student, which I, I don't think applies to anyone right here, but if you are a current Blythe student, we still need you to send in your transcript or your recent report cards. The scholarship committee is made up of staff from various campuses, and we do not all have access to your report cards. Now, in terms of what we want to see for leadership, we are interested in your thoughts on leadership, but the most important thing is your concrete experiences, which demonstrate leadership skill. So please do not say, and I have had students say things similar to this, I am a good leader because I am good at leadership. We definitely need more than that. Uh, please talk about your experiences in leadership. That could be things that you've learned at a summer job, a camp setting, volunteer work, sports, all of that type of thing. Um, with your extracurricular activities, please be as specific as possible in terms of the organization name and any awards won. I have had situations where students have said things like, I won the national award, um, but that's, that's not very specific. That, that makes it really hard to track it down. So moving on, to make the best impression, please make sure you have done all of the above. 
This is a very competitive process. We need your deposit paid. Again, if you are applying uh, as an equity scholarship student, you can get that scholarship back, uh, sorry, that deposit back at your own discretion. Um, we do need a reference letter, that's very important. We need the report cards. And if you are an equity applicant, we need both your T4, your parents' T4s, of course, and your letter of need. I, in terms of the letter of need, sometimes people ask me, you know, what that should look like. I, you have a lot of freedom in how you word it or form it. Um, basically, we just want to know what the situation is because there can be so many different situations. Now, it is okay to have parents or a favorite teacher review your application, but please do not have them write it. This is about you or, or your student, and it's about their best work. And lastly, just wanted to emphasize again, definitely please send us your best work. This is a competitive process. Um, acceptance in terms of the scholarship, well, acceptance is never guaranteed, but acceptance is with the scholarship. I, we do have a lot of good students who we can't always give scholarships to. Um, and also just let us know who you are with your application. And that brings us pretty much to the end of our presentation. Um, so I would imagine that, that either of you have questions. So uh, please go ahead, just jump right in. The questions about the scholarship process or about Blythe Academy generally. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Yes. Hello, I'm Tanya Colin. Um, this is for my daughter. Um, I'm just wondering with um, the transcripts, would that be for grade 11? Um, if she's going into grade 12, would it be her grade 11 marks? Exactly. So if, if she, your daughter has not finished um, grade 11, obviously it won't be a completed transcript. So just the most recent report cards that you have, um, you know, a couple of sets are always good. Even three sets going back to grade okay. 10, uh, but a lot of people just send two sets um, or a transcript that oh. shows, you know, marks, what, whatever you have, but at least the most recent report card, which would be January, uh, we always need that. And if some students are doing a quad, um, it's, we need at least two sets of report cards, or at least that's, that's a lot better. It gives us a fuller question. Okay. Fuller, uh, ID, so I just, um, they don't give, like they give a report card, but they don't, um, um their marks are continued into level five so it's like a level four and five it's not um all you, you probably know how it works having had stu um children in the ib yeah in in the case of the ib i i well figure it out um but uh, sometimes, you know, just in case I, we are taping this, so in case we have someone international watching it, um, you know, we, we have a guidance counselors who will ask to take a look at things as well. Okay. Yeah, we had an instance where we received a report card from one of our campuses, which followed a different grading rubric. But then we definitely, like Catherine said, we got the guidance team involved in the teaching staff just to help us um, kind of uh, provide what the I guess the numerical value or help us read that form of the report card so definitely that is something that we will um, look into as well right okay I don't have any questions your presentation was really thorough and and clear oh, and uh, oh, thank you thank you often these uh, questions pop up after <laughs> as, as it happens sometimes but, but thank I'm you so much sure I'm all set so I just want to say thank you to all of you and um, I look forward to connecting on this um, and my dogs you can hear it happy too <laughs> yes yeah. so much everyone bye for now Hi, and if you do think of questions later um, you know we're always here you can always phone or you can email us we're happy to help so wonderful. You guys are just so professional and the school is awesome. You know, I'm really, my daughter has been here now over a year and really we've had a, such a positive impact, especially thanks to the guidance counselors, you know, uh, and the teachers. But even if something's not a fit, the guidance counselor is great and, and we've ran into hard times. So it's great to know that this is an option. 
One quick thing I did want to let everybody know is this time for our second scholarship round, we uh, implemented uh, or incorporated, sorry, a checklist in the scholarship application. So uh, you'll see a series of questions, but at the end, um, kind of what uh, Catherine had gone through, just to make sure that again, students are providing the best and strongest application. There is also a checklist at the end. So it's for you know families to make sure that they've literally dotted everything off and provided everything that is needed. So that's something we've added as well. So well, that's perfect. That really yeah. helps, really yeah. helps. Yeah, that's great. You've really, you can tell you've really examined the document for like uh, application itself with a critical yeah. eye and that's wonderful. So thank you. Yeah, no, you're most welcome. All right. I'm, so, Have a I'm great so glad night. you both came. Thank yeah. you so much, everyone. Thank you so much. Thank so you. much. Miigwech. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye.